Okay, so Fox 3s are here. Everybody is crazy. Yay! Um, going crazy. So um, I have very quickly um, grinded the R77s for the SMT, for the MiG-29. And for China, I have uh, the PL-12s. Um, from my first comparison, these are better than the R-77. They are faster. I mean, if you look at the stat card of those things, they all look the same, right? Like, they, they say exactly the same thing. Uh, launch range, 80 kilometers, maximum speed, uh, for Mark IV, 38 Gs, yada yada, and the uh, R-77s say kind of the same thing. It's a little bit different from the weight. Uh, it says 50 G, um, so on the state card it's even better. But the speed and the range or whatever, that all appears to be the same. However, the R-77, um, if you look at them, uh, they have this huge metal assembly there in the back um, and that that creates drag um, they are not as good in my opinion as the uh, a120s which i will never get because i have to go through two planes in here and both of them don't interest me even so <laughs> all this stuff is for me is not interesting but um, I guess for many people it is. However, yeah, so the, the AIM-120s are, in my opinion, better than the R-77s. However, they, the AIM-120s are kind of the same as these regarding speed because they look more like an AIM-120 than an R-77. Um, so that, these are the PL-12s again. Um, interestingly, the PL-12s are available at 12.3 while you have to go, I mean, yeah, while you have to go through to 13.0 to get the uh, Chinese news flanker thing. Um, and that too gets R-77. So this gets more and this only gets two, but those are better than these. Um, the current battle ratings, I have had a look um, if they adjusted this, I don't know yet, actually. Nobody knows. It's the first day. So it says 12.0 to 13.0. But maybe there is like a bracket. I don't know. Maybe where it's it's the, the top, top tier together, like 12.7 to 13 or whatever. I don't think they will do that, but maybe in the future. I don't know. Um, so this, although it's 12.3 in sim, always fights 13.0s anyway. So this is a little bit on the back foot. Um, yeah, so that's the current situation. Um, what we will do now is we will go here and we will fly the MiG-29 SMT with the R-77s because I think the majority of content creators focus on the Western stuff and I don't like to do that. And so I will use these. Um, also, we had a bug with the MiG-23 series. That includes the ML and everything else. Doesn't matter what letters are behind the 23. Every MiG-23 had this bug where we could not have our full flares and chaff. So it says 60 and 12, but we only had uh, eight. And they very quickly fixed that. They didn't even put out a, uh, an X, it's fixed or something or patch notes. They just did this with a stealth patch. So it's now patched and works properly again. I just tested this as well. All right, so um, yeah, we will. So that's my my loadout that I want to use. Um, it has enough internal fuel, so we don't need a fuel tank um, for R seventy sevens and two emergency sticks because that's what the IR missiles have been degraded to at top tier now. That's that's because the multi passing has been nerfed uh, or. <laughs> Nerfed is, in my opinion, negatively connotated, so I will say buffed, because multipathing is now at 60 meters, which means uh, these have a much better chance of working. How I want to play this is fly high, very high, fast, if, if we can, and don't even get close to enemies. Like, if we, get, if we can't get a kill with these, we just return to base. 
Um, so like a modern air combat will act, would actually work in reality. I would not go close in if I can avoid it. So that's the goal. Um, I have a not really well. Huh? Who is this? Did I get something? 100. Oh, yay. Okay. Very cool. Thank you. Nice. All right. Don't forget to collect your rewards, guys. Okay. See you in disguise. Okay. Afghanistan. Uh, I tried to find a game where Team B, so the team with not the US inside, is not heavily outnumbered. And I failed because every single game they outnumber the other team. There's, that has to change. I don't know what's, what's, why this is a thing. Um, it, play red side. Play the non-US teams, guys. Um, because it always looks like this. And this is the one of the best games I could find. It's always like this. I hate this. You always... I, I've had games where I fought three, three to one. It's it's ridiculous. So we will take off from here because it's a little bit more mountainous, I think. And this is a little bit too loud. Okay. Oh, I need to load my controls, obviously. Yes. Yes. Oh, um, another thing I have found. Let's uh, close the door, please. Can we close the door? Yeah, so I want to mention this really quickly. It's another bug. So when you are in a plane that has an HMD, it's always there. So... As you can see, as soon as you move your, your head outside of the front plane of the uh, cockpit, this thing is always in your face now. And it is really obstructive, and that really drove me crazy. I even created a bug report on the uh, Gaijin page, on the bug tracker page. It's always there. Um, so no matter if you're normally, before, you had to turn on your missile tracking, and then this appeared. When you disabled your missile tracking, this disappeared, right? So I found a way around this. If you go here, and enter HMD, you can use this button, um, switch the HMD indication, and that removes it. When I press it, this removes it. And now you can look around normally again. However, um, when you want to, to use the thing, it's there, right? It's there, right? Disable the missile and it's gone. So you have to you have to actually press that at the start of the battle. Now it's like before. So you press that key once and it's and then it's uh, like normal. I don't know if they will patch it or if it's a bug. Not a, I don't know. Let's start and yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention this because it drove me crazy. <laughs> it drove me crazy. This was also on the dev server and I thought they would. Uh, patch that out because I, I thought it's a bug but they left it in so yeah there you go press the button and then it's it's like before okay um again we will oh it's all sc 27s okay so we will just use the r 77s if we get close to something we'll just run away um, because this should be a test of the R-77s and not of whatever else. Um, there's an F-16. On radar. And there is something too, look. That is very, very suspicious. Yes. Wow, that is already an enemy. Okay, did he see us? I think he did, did he? There's no way he did not see us. We are, we were very slow when... Uh, yeah, he's uh, running away now, I think. Okay. 
we fire another one and then we will run away. I think the missile was active straight away, so... This is, this is all very new, obviously. Okay, we have a... Do we have a missile inbound or not? So he's defensive, we were too. Um, and he's diving to the to the deck, it seems like. Yeah, okay, so he's running away. There's another thing. Will he re-engage us? Okay. He also fired another one. I can see him. Yeah, we got him. Nice. Okay, we'll still run away because we only have one missile left. <laughs> okay, nice. So we did that correctly. It's a little bit, not a little bit, it is actually like DCS. So, um, if you have played DCS before, that's exactly what you would do. Okay, so this F-16 that was locking us before... I don't like that. We have one missile left. Um, he is in medium range, now it's an F-15, actually. There he is. This is okay. well, up, well, up. Where is he? Is he in the mountains? I guess so, right? Yeah. Okay, we will... Uh, ...continue to push a little bit. Because these missiles, as I said, they have a lot of drag, and uh, if I can avoid it... Fire. And it's active, active straight away. He fired as well. And we will run away. Oh shit. Let's not run into the mountain. Okay, so that did not hit apparently. Now we have to land. That's exactly what I wanted to do. You do not fight MRAMs with R-73s, for obvious reasons. <laughs> now what I don't know is the problem of spawn camping, right? Because everybody here will now try to spawn camp you. <laughs> Like I don't, I don't even know if that's a thing, but uh, it might be. But now we're too close to the ground. I don't think they can hit us. So yeah, yeah, he wanted us. He had my number. Yeah, all right. Come on. Okay, that is a friendly right there. No, oh, that is looks like a flanker. I don't know where the other guy is. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, we have this new thing where you can select your loadout manually. Um, so it, yeah, um, you, you, you press this key combination. For me, it's uh, Shift A. And then you can click on the missile that you want, or if you want to use only chef or flare, or chef and flare. Um, it's a little bit finicky sometimes, especially in battle, obviously. But yeah, um, it's there if you want to use it. It's also new. There's an enemy right there. What is he doing? No, that's not. That, that can't be an enemy, right? 
It can't be an enemy. Where is he? <laughs> it is. It is an enemy. Why? Why is he so close to our base? It does not make any sense. What? What's going on? I don't know what's going on, honestly. Why are they two kilometers in front of our base, exactly? Um, okay. Yeah, why are you doing that? <laughs> okay, whatever. Why are you doing that? Okay, fair enough. He got what he deserved. And we actually used an R73, no? <laughs> they still have a purpose, obviously, but uh, yeah. But not in... The, the, it's not like it was before, obviously, so... It's not... so it, it is a much less... much less of a Call of Duty thing now. It's more like, as I said, it's more like DCS. And I do enjoy that. Like, this is... the, the modern planes, because of the longer ranges, have actual breathing room now. They are not degraded to this meta where all oh, the metric ton of clouds here i can't see anything so before you had like the, the best planes right but the manu most maneuverable plane always won in the merge um, that's why you could get away with uh, using a a plane that was only equipped with a9ls versus ra radar missiles but this is now a little bit different. Multipassing is still there, sadly. I would like that it is removed completely. Oh, there's something. But there's also something in front. Hmm. Not sure what we should do. Okay. A 15? Oh, yeah. No, he's, he's going in the other direction. There is something. And he's actually at altitude, not down on the deck or something. Okay, so we will fire above the cloud so that he can't... Uh, get a bit closer, get a bit closer. And loft it a little bit. And see what happens. If it even reacts at all or not. Because he's going in between the mountain. It's a bit... Uh, not the best shot. Obviously. Fire another one for good measure. And... Run away. Because otherwise it's not BVR anymore. See what happens. Oh, there's an F-16 left to us? Like, right left of us? There are two F-16s here, yeah. Shit. I don't want to get aim 9 m would Yeah, see? That's exactly what I thought. Exactly what I thought. Yeah. Okay, um, so did we? So these missiles critically damaged, set a fire severely. Okay, so these missiles, both of them, did not hit. Okay, I don't know why. Maybe he was. I don't think he was lower than 60 meters, right? Because uh, doing that in the mountains is 
it's like almost impossible. Um, why are there already planes again? Are you sure that's an enemy radar? Okay. Maybe it was because of the head-on mode. This is a little bit... It's not as strong, so it's it, as soon as the enemy goes a little bit left or right, it's not as strong anymore. Um, it detects targets earlier, but it's not as strong. So, yeah. Let's see. Incredible, right? The, we still have people in the in the in these lobbies who think it's uh, that PVE is a thing. It's never a thing. It's never a thing. I can't see anything. Thank you. It never is a thing in War Thunder. It's just not. This is not what the game is. Um, okay, there's a question mark on my radar. I'm not sure if I like that. Let's switch to TWS HDN. Yeah, see, this is the TD, the HDN mode is stronger in detection, but it might not be. Good for actually keeping the lock after you launched, right? So, yeah, what is this question mark? I don't know. Everything is new. Right? Everything is new. Well, there is a dude. I'm sure he sees me as well. So we will fire now. This is a this is 50 kilometers, isn't it? This is very far. This is very very far. I do not think this will hit. Like not at all. My joystick is doing weird stuff again. That's why it's stuttering. We will fire another one on him too, once he's like 20 out. See, the normal TWS doesn't even see it. No, it, no, it does. Okay. Okay. Radar, internal radar is now active and we will crank and run away. Will it hit? I don't think so, right? Otherwise, it would have hit already. No, it, no, it did. It did. Take that back and take that back. Nice. So we have two left. What is this question mark? Is it something on the ground? Could be, right? There's a battle? Was it a convoy? I don't know. Oh, look at that. There is a thing. Yeah. Okay. He died, I guess. Or is he? Oh, wait, there's something right there. That is not what I wanted to do. Obviously. What is he doing? Oh, shit. Okay. So this guy right there is an enemy, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. We are not in the best position right now, so we have to get a little bit lower. I think we are fast enough. 
at least. There's a friendly coming. Don't know if he sees him or not. Yeah, there he is, look. This is, again, the same thing that you would do in uh, in BCS. If there was a enemy so close to you, you would not uh, turn around and uh, hide him. Uh. Okay, now we are over our base. I think the enemy has... Yeah, he's he's still in the M9M game, look. He's still in the M9M game. Let's keep an eye out, this is dangerous. There. There's something right in front. But is that him? That's the question. No. What? Ah, oh, that's... yeah, he's strong in the m and m game. I don't want that. That is not what I want at all. Yeah, great. Wasn't this the same guy? I don't want to test R73s. I want to test the R77s. Isn't that the same dude? Goodle? No, it's not. Okay, so these guys still have to learn how the new meta is. Anybody can use heat seekers, right? And spawn cam, but this is not what I want to do. This is not cool. Heat seeker is this. Enable, click, poof, off. But for the, for the BVR stuff, you need to have a brain. And uh, that's what I would like to do, especially on the first day when everything is new. Uh, wow, this guy died seven times. Oh dear. Yeah, uh, again, look, this is the usual bullshit that happens in the sim lobbies. I don't want to fly American planes because I'm very strong. Ugh. I guess people just want to uh, experience the planes that they grew up with instead of learning something about planes that they didn't grow up with. I don't know. Like, I. For example, we here in Germany, we had the uh, Phantom, right? Um, so we used the Phantom, the, the one with MRAMs, the, the KVS that's in the check tree. It's not ice, by the way. Stop saying ice. It has nothing to do with ice. It's not cold. It's uh, KWS, Kampfwertsteigerung. That's literally what it means. Oh, what's that? Okay. Very close missile. Very close missile. I can hear the missile. Jesus. I could... These are several ones. At least the chaff seems to work.
Okay, we have F14 and F15. So yeah, they are. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. It's two versus the planet. Yeah, this is not. This is not fun. This is not fun. Obviously, it sucks. It's always like this. Play red side, guys. Play the other guys as well. They need players. Like seriously. There's the guy. There's the guy. Look. Okay. And that was the emblem for us, I think. What happened? What was... Whoa. Really? Again? I can't... Uh, I don't have my HMD. I don't have my HMD. Um, was it my fault, maybe? Um, I do not have my HMD. Yeah, now I have it. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. Everything is beeping, but I have no idea what's going on. They're raiding this base or something. Crazy, is it? It's crazy. Did everybody die now? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Please, guys, play the. Oh, there's the next one. <laughs> Ugh. I don't, yeah, it's hard to keep track of stuff, obviously. There he is. We'll fire one. I don't know if it... I think he's behind a mountain, is he? No? Maybe? <laughs> okay. Okay, we have uh, our, spent our R-77s. Um, yeah, and I, wow, okay, great. I will, I'm the only one, yeah. And I will land. Oh. It's really sad, is it? It's really sad. Um, it's not that we, we don't have the cool planes, it's because everybody is so biased against the... Uh, or biased towards the US for some reason. We need more players on... on this side seriously i think in the, I, when we landed i will show you my win rate in the mig 29 smt you will be shocked okay so in here we will sort this aviation and this i only look at the modern planes right now so mig 29 uh, that was when it was introduced um, when it was new, the normal one. Back then it was okay, right? But the more modern we get, uh, there's a 29 SMT. So 15 battles. This is the 16th battle. 13% win rate. Because all the games look like this one, right? Or the J11. No, Chinese J11. Um, again, the earlier jets are all fine. It's, it's, it's manageable. It's still biased towards the US, but it's manageable. But the more modern it gets, the more horrible it gets. J11. Spaded this thing. I like it. I've got a lot of kills in it. Didn't die too often. Seven games. Zero percent win rate. Um, play the other side, guys. All right, um, as Toast likes to say, see you back at the studio. <clears throat>
So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and also my ramblings, be yeah, because it's just a little bit frustrating to play everything else but these planes, right? Um, so, R77s, they're a bit slower, um, but of obviously in Sim they are also a bit stronger because of how the game works. Um, so I'm, I'm satisfied with them. In general, I like the additions to War Thunder really much. I like that the multipathing has been, as I said before, buffed. So as, eh? so as I defined it, um, 60 meters is okay. 50 meters would be better. Zero meters would be the best. Um, or actually, um, what would be the best is if the more modern missiles had less multipathing than the older ones. So, for example, when I look at these old, uh, these ones, the AIM-7E, for example, I, that had a metric ton of multipathing. Um, and there was even in the flight manuals of these planes that people should, should take this into account. But the more modern ones, like we have now, they should have like zero meters or maybe 20 meters or something not 60 but anyway it's better than before it's much better and top tier is actually enjoyable right now um, from a plane perspective very much so from the gameplay perspective is what i said now multiple times in the video and that what i say all the time when i record top tier um, play less of this Play more of this, play more of this, play more of this, play more of that, play more of that, and that's it. Um, that would be my wish. Um, either Gaijin implements a method to prevent these everybody against two scenarios from happening, like, I don't know how, um, but somehow. Uh, it's, it's their job to figure that out or you guys um, screw a little bit away from the uh, from, from this stuff and that stuff and go more to these things and these things and these things and these things and those things right um, they all got the MRAMs so there's a lot to unpack in every nation you don't need to fly the US exclusively please um, yeah um, by the way, when I have spaded this one, it got a little bit of flag, I guess, because it's at 12.7 um, and it's a phantom, but it's a missile carrier, right? What I just did, that could, I could have done the same thing in this, right? It doesn't matter if this turns two seconds slower or whatever. Um, oh, you have unpurred. No, not now. Now it's 10% win rate in the SMG. <laughs> like, I could have done this in this plane as well. The plane doesn't matter so much anymore when, the, when your missiles matter, right? You don't need to go into the merge with a Gripen with this. If you do that, it's your fault. Um, you, you, you fire your stuff when you're out of stuff. And with stuff, I mean MRAMs. You turn around, go back to base. This is what this is. And uh, yeah. And no, again, it's not an ice. It's not. It's cool, but it's not ice. All right, it's KVS. KVS. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.